from Nerdly coming out with a review of two of these awesome Cable Guys phone and controller holders. We've got Spider Man over here, which is a Cable Guy standard one. And we've got this massive Cable Guys XL Crash Bandicoot. Both of which you can get now at places like Game and those are online places. Uh, both come with a USB charging cable, two meters, which is cool because obviously if this is going to be displayed somewhere, you're probably going to need quite a long cable to plug it into your plug socket. Yeah, it's supposed to be able to hold phones, controllers, etc, etc. I've got a heap of controllers. We've got PS4 controller, uh, Power A's version of the Nintendo Pro controller, Steel Series Nimbus from Apple TV. Got old school 3DS. Uh, got a mobile phone. Small tablet. Massive iPad. Got quite a lot of tests on I would test it out on the Switch. But Mrs. Nerd is currently playing Pokemon Go on the Switch. And getting her to relinquish that is like getting blood out of the stone. So we'll just leave her to play that and we'll just do it without for now. Um, so yeah, there's not much to these. They're obviously little statues. It's kind of a cool, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of an easy way to do a statue without paying statue licenses or sort of infringing on other statue companies' uh, IPs and stuff. The Doomers stands for gaming stuff. So we'll have to crack these open. So we've got taped up. I'd actually like to thank, thank the folks at uh, Exquisite Gaming for sorting us out with these two. They're the ones who supply places like game and stuff with these. I mean, you'll be able to. I mean, if you've been into a game, I mean, my local one at the minute has a whole uh, freestanding unit that's got loads of these on. Um, these two are both Wave One. I think you call them, you call them Wave One. I think you could. It's good. Uh, the new ones have got like the end game ones in and uh, some more gaming characters. There's a there's an awesome giant, well, an XL uh, Spyro that would be great with that Crash Bandicoot. Especially given the fact that both of them have got remastered games out. So there's your cable, two meter cable, micro USB, so okay if you're running controllers. Yeah, I'll just obviously if your micro if your controller's micro USB, which that is. Um, still serious nervous it's actually USB C. I've never. Was it lightning? Might be lightning. And then obviously this is batteries anyway. So, um, but yeah. So if you've got a mobile phone, that's USB C. It's not USB C. Sorry, micro USB. We you know if you got a Galaxy Android phone or something. So get this bad boy out. Oh, there you go. Put this over to the side. So there's Spider-Man, it's quite nice, it's not too heavy, feels substantial enough that it's gonna, it is gonna stand well, but not too heavy that it's gonna annoy you. So what we'll do, we'll move this over to the side, put him there, so yeah, actually we'll bring up closer detail first, as you can see. on Spider-Man. It's like the old school comic Spider-Man. It's quite a muscly bugger, isn't it? It's not weedy Peter Parker, this is like strong, this is sort of like, you could really, if you change your mouth, you, you could do that as a Venom as well, quite easily. So yeah, that's, that's that's the standard small size, so that should fit things like, what about phone? That's a Galaxy J something or other, not my phone, but hey. Uh, an old school. Samsung Galaxy Tab. That fits quite nicely. Obviously it covers Spider-Man's face completely. Will, the, will it fit a 3DS on is the question. Oh, it will fit, hey, that's quite nice. Actually, it's pretty much a perfect fit. 3DS. 
quite a nice fit there. Um, what about a controller? Yeah, just about. The Spider-Man's chest gets a little in the way of the, the V of the PS4 controller. But it does sit there. It does hold it nicely. Wobbles off as you can knock it, but hey. Let's try the Switch. Well, I say Switch. This is a power A version of the Pro Controller. That's is better. That's is better. That's it's a lot better. That's quite nice actually. I do like that. I don't think it's power A. We do a Spider Man one. I think it's Spider Man and Spider Man, or do Super Mario holder. And what about the Steel Series Nimbus? This is I use this for uh, gaming on both my MacBook Pro and my Apple TV. Bluetooth controller. Yeah. Sits nicely. Yeah. That's a good fit actually. I like that. That would be good because I use because we use it with Apple TV. Doesn't need charging very frequently that, so that could sit near the telly with that on. I don't have to dig out of a drawer every time I want to play on the Apple TV or the especially with Apple Arcade coming. Yeah, so the only downside is that is that a V shape on the uh, PS4 it just doesn't let it sit. He kinda wants to roll off his chest a bit, which if you had another different character, I'm guessing you're not gonna fit better. But yeah. But I do like that, that nimbus on there. I'm honestly, honestly God, I think I think that's gonna go next to the TV to hold my nimbus controller. I really do. That is that is cool. That is very, very cool. So on the bottom. Yeah, it's with Manufacturer Exquisite Gaming, uh, egxpro.com. Yeah, see, it's not, it's not. You can hear it's quite, the base is hollow. It's slightly thicker plastic at the top, but it doesn't weigh a ton. So it's not gonna bash anyone's brains in. If you get angry and you throw this instead of a controller, probably still gonna put your TV through, but won't hurt anybody, I don't think. <laughs> I'm joking, do not throw these at anyone whatsoever in the slightest. Do not. All right, so that's Spider-Man. We'll put him back there. And let's get on to this big beast. Crash Bandicoot, which is so big, it doesn't even fit in the frame. And I can't zoom out any further because this camera right here is actually my iPhone and I might just on a spendy arm and it, if it bend any further backwards, it'll just fall off where it's attached. So we'll just have to make do, sadly. Well, I'm truly stuck in here. So, in the top corner, micro USB cable, which means I've got two, now I've got two two meter micro USB cables, which means I can probably play PlayStation 4 with two controllers while charging at the same time, because I don't have a charging unit. I tend to run out of power on my PlayStation 4 controllers and then to stop playing. Oh, there's a bit of extra tape on the inside of the lid. Just get to that that's holding the top bit of plastic on. Get shut to that. So here we go, Crash Bandicoot. Voila! Wow. That is absolutely superb. That is absolutely brilliant. Again, not too heavy. Heavy and spinal obviously because it's bigger. That is, that is brilliant. Look at the. Yeah, it's uh, look at the detail on that fur. Go around. Ooh, just bash the camera wide on her. Some good paint wire on the back there, not to bore you. Let me see that. That is a superb sculpt. That is a brilliant sculpt. Love the fur detail. Get a giant nose. That's something that's worrying me now. I don't think this will hold an iPad, my iPad anyway, because his nose is in the way. But he is leaning back. So should we do it? Should we just go straight to the consoles or the, and the phones and stuff? So, regular phone. It actually looks like it's his phone. It almost is the size of a small child holding a mobile phone. That's kind of funny. But yeah, so that's a Samsung phone. Let's go run through these we've got the tablet again that's a nice size a small tab 
Oh, that's a nice size. I like that. That's a nice size. Again, we'll go with the uh, 3DS. Oh, it kind of looks short. No, actually, that's... Again, they're pretty much a perfect fit. Let's try the controllers. PS4 controller. Ah, that's cool. Actually sits in his hands. That's nice. That sits better. I know it's moving a bit, but it sits better in his, actually in his hands. And obviously Spider-Man cupping it underneath. Let's try the old powery controller for the Switch. Oh, oh, now that, that's perfect. So that's probably gonna be equivalent to like the Xbox One controller as well. Goes long. The grip area sits brilliantly in his hand. Absolutely fantastic. That's not good anyway. That is well and truly stuck. So yeah, if you've got a Pro Controller or a Power A Controller, speaking of Power A Controllers, this is the Super Mario Power A Controller, and we'll be doing a video, which I'm gonna be, which will probably go up after this, of just off camera over there, we have four of the Pokemon Power A Switch Controllers. This is the wireless one, those are all wired. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, Charm, I can't remember, is it Char Charmander, but Pikachu, Bulbasaur and Squirtle, I think, over there, just off camera, but yeah. So there'll be that be a video review coming up, coming up after this. But back to the control situation, Steel Series Nimbus. Ooh. I don't know which I like better now. Do I like Spider-Man better or do I like Crash Bandicoot? Oh, that's a tricky one. Oh, that's a tricky one. Which one do I like holding my Nimbus better? See, because that fits perfectly there and it just slots under his chin brilliantly. But then Spider-Man. I suppose there's a little bit of a wobble on Spider-Man. Oh, that's a tricky one. I suppose really it is a gaming thing, so it should really go on. It should really go on Crash Bandicoot, shouldn't it? Really, I suppose that is nice. Right, so let's try the 12-inch iPad Pro, which I'm not sure this big thing will fit, just because of his nose. I might be wrong. I might be right. I don't know. Let's pull the case off. Let's see if we can hold this bad boy. There we go. No. Hell no. Falls forward because of his nose. No. So can't hold an iPad Pro. Might be able to hold an iPad. That's a shame. Although to be fair, I do have a set of my iPad Pro already. So. Yeah, that's that. Tell you what, bear me one second. I'm going to go and pinch the switch and see what it looks like in Crash Bandicoot's hand. Back in a second. Right, we have the switch. How good for timing is this? The wife's been playing it, Mrs. Mrs. Nerdly. She's been playing it for so long, Bakshi's just died. She's been playing it this morning. So she's been playing it for that many, that long, Bakshi's died. Oh, come on. That thing's built for the switch, isn't it? Absolutely built for the switch. 100% built for the Switch. Spider-Man won't hold the Switch. Spider-Man will hold the Switch. Just doesn't feel as secure. But Crash Bandicoot, that is... That is nigh on perfect. So I would say, if you are going to use... I mean, these little cable guys. Perfect for phones. Absolutely perfect for mobile phones. Spider-Man, stick it on your bedside table, because that's where I keep my phone, most of the time I'm charging it. Bedside table, charging it overnight, Spider-Man can do all that for you. No worries. Games console, obviously Switch needs to charge, but if you just want to show it off, have it all in your Switch, or like I say, this type of controller with the large grips is damn Near perfect on that, absolutely perfect. Yep, those are the two cable guys. That's the cable guy, 
there, that's a Cable Guy XL. You can get these places like Game. Um, I presume you can get them through Exquisite Gaming's website, I'm not sure, but that's egxpro.com, go and check that out. But yeah, you can definitely get these in Game. They've got the uh, standees at the minute. Um, the, the, mine's got Spyro, some end game stuff. Uh, has it got an Assassin's Creed one? I think there might be an Assassin's Creed one. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway. I'll put links below um, to all the gubbins you need where to buy these and stuff. But yeah, I just want to say thanks to Exquisite Gaming for sending these out. Absolutely love these. I've decided that bad boy is actually going to stand somewhere. <laughs> I have to squeeze him next to our statue of, uh, whose name I can't remember, the girl from Soul, Soul Calibur 6 and the girl from Tekken 7, who's both of whose name I can't remember. The statue's next to TV. Um, yeah, I, put, I think I might put Crash with them and put the controller on it. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And next up will be a video review of Power A's Pokemon Switch wired controllers. Hope you joined us for that one. Thanks for watching. I know it was brief, but not much to say other than these are actually pretty cool. I prefer Crash Bandicoot to Spider-Man. Spider-Man, I love Spider-Man as a character, but Crash Bandicoot as a stand is brilliant. Love it. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop ranting on. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the other local UK. Make sure to like this video if you like. Get a thumbs up, thumbs down, I don't care. Interact with it. Comments. Like the channel. Blah, blah, blah. Check out the website. So thanks again and catch you all later. Bye for now.